Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How's everybody doing? Today is Friday, July 24th, 2020. So that means it's time for my Friday podcast. On my podcast, I like to talk about fiber arts, anything related to yarny goodness, whether it's acquisitions or things that I see, sales and stuff like that crochet mainly crochet because that's what i've been doing for many many years and some knitting in my uh podcast in the future in the near future i'm probably yes i'm gonna jump on the bandwagon i do want to do a little bit of dyeing um i know i'm not i know it is what it is i know everybody's already done that been there and stuff but i'm just kind of curious about how it works and how what my what I have in my mind what I want to see come out in yarn and I'm hoping it works if not oh well no big deal I'm not gonna go crazy we'll see how it works out so hopefully in August I'll be doing some dyeing and we'll see how that comes out and I hope I'll show you guys but you know I'm not gonna get crazy on it or anything like that I promise I'm not going crazy I'm not gonna show you how I do it because I don't even know how I'm gonna do it uh, today I have a couple of whips to show you and a finished object. So I'm going to get right down to it. Um, oh, I also have some happy mail, which yes, I am like a 10 year old on Christmas day. I got the happy mail on Wednesday. Now I don't know how you guys who get your happy mail and wait three days, five days, a week, whatever, not opening it. I got it and I was like, I can't wait to open this. Oh my gosh, somebody thought of me. And I was so excited that I was thought of that I did film it though. So at the end of this, uh, after I get done talking here, I will uh, share that with you guys if you want to see it. I hope you do because there was two wonderful, lovely people that I thank very, very much for thinking of me amazing amazing and i know you know who you are but it will be at the end of this podcast so why am i wearing a bandana today well my finished object does have a little something to do with well back in the day here's my skull bandana my finished object is related to me riding my motorcycle and my love of skulls let's see oh that's the one my love of skulls and uh, I actually have some skull bracelets and I have uh, a bracelet that looks like a skull hand that wraps around your wrist and then the skull actually you know what I'll go get it just to show you guys I don't usually wear it on my podcast I just usually wear it like if I'm going some kind of biker event e related event but I'll go get it and I'll be right back Ta -da! This is, I love this piece. This is my piece de resistance. Is that how you say it? <laughs> this pops on your hand like this. I got this from, uh, a lot of times if you go to bike shows, there'll be vendors selling uh, biker type jewelry and stuff like that. And there it is. There she is. Isn't she amazing? I just love it. I actually used to have a shirt it was a t-shirt or, a, or a whatever shirt and it had skull hands that went uh, in this general area looking like they were coming from behind and grabbing you and they were all bling blingy and I would gotten that like I don't know six years five years ago and it finally just wore out I, and I can't find one that I like as much as I liked that one and I, I do see people now doing them with the skull hands uh, but it was so cool. I loved wearing it. Every time I wore it, everybody was like, oh, I love that shirt. <laughs> it was so cool. But yes, uh, I just had to show this one off. I love this. Absolutely love this. So anyway, um, so like I said, my finished object is biker related or it for me, it is biker related. So um, one of the things that I would like to talk to you about, and it's kind of a lifestyle update for me. And the reason why I am talking to you guys today about this is because I need to become accountable. And YouTube for me has kept me more accountable with my crocheting, learning to knit, pushing myself a little bit beyond my comfort zone. And I'm not going to be one of those 
lifestyle ch channels that are like, oh, I did this and this is what I did to do this. But what I want to do is every week I'd like to touch base with you guys to keep me on my toes for my weight loss journey. Now, um, I will insert some pictures of me before and then after. and then me like now. And as you can see, the before picture was in July of 2015, and this was before I had my gastro bypass. I had gastro bypass in November, I think it was November 3rd, 2015. So then the next two little pictures that I showed you are me about two and a half years ago. It was me, about a year and a half after my surgery. So yeah, it was like the end, getting towards the end of 2017, going close to 2018. So anyway, it, it was in that time frame. And then um, the last one was just me about, what, two months ago or something like that. Now, uh, I'm not able to exercise and stuff like that. Not like I need to, to do like serious weight loss. So um, basically, I know that my body is probably going to lose, if I'm lucky, two pounds a week. And I'm going to be okay with that. I'm going to be fine with that. I lost three pounds this week. And I'm pushing myself really, really hard because I don't know exactly what happened. Well, I kind of know what happened. I know that some of it was the fact that after a couple of years, your appetite after having gastro bypass comes back and you get hungry again. Like after you have the surgery for a long time, you don't get hungry. And you know, like I still get full very, very quickly. My meals are still small, but what happened is now I eat these little meals and I'm only satisfied for maybe two hours if I'm lucky. And then my stomach starts growling and instead of reaching for a little bit of protein, a lot of times I catch myself reaching for a pretzels or something like that, which in itself is not horrible. I'm not reaching so much for candy and stuff, but I am catching myself reaching for simple stuff, pretzels and that kind of stuff is carbs and it's unwanted carbs and it's not like healthy carbs and you are going to gain weight and beyond that and menopause um, I started gaining weight as menopause kicked in and at first I had gained like approximately 17 pounds with menopause and I was eh, all right with it not a hundred percent but whatever and then this last few months with this quarantine and stuff, and I've really been even more sedentary than I usually am with my disability, if that makes sense. Like, uh, I just been like, well, I can't go nowhere anyway, so I'm sitting back. So um, to say that basically it's just I gained another... 12, 13 pounds on top of that. So basically I am about 35 pounds heavier than I was in my thinnest picture that I showed you and I'm not happy with it and I need to change. And long story short, I'm trying to make myself accountable by if I don't at least try and at least push myself hard enough to tell you guys every week that I lost a pound or I lost a pound and a half, then I am going to feel bad. Uh, like, you know what I'm talking about. I, I hope that makes sense. It's almost like going to a Weight Watchers meeting. So if anybody else wants to get on board with me, you can leave it in the comments. And every week on Friday, if you want, you can post that you either lost something or we stayed the same. I'm hoping that I don't have too many weeks of staying the same because that's kind of what's going on with me now. I'm not gaining. I had lost a few pounds, but I'm just kind of at like a, I'm just sitting there just like this. And I, it's not cool with me. So this week I crunched down. I'm not munching. If I'm hungry, I'm just hungry, period. I'm only having my protein shake in the morning 
and I'm having my my dinner with a lot of protein in it and in the afternoon I'm trying to stick to some like raw vegetables and things like that so anyway I just wanted to get that out there and I hope you guys can understand I know it's a fiber arts channel but I hope you can understand why I'm doing this so that's that I'm done I'm done <laughs> so I hope everybody had a great week and let me show you my finished objects because I want to show that to you first before we get on with the whips how does that sound Ta-da! what do you think guys it is done I finished up the Lost Souls scarf and it's a free pattern on Ravelry and this was made with the gifted True Boo, True Boo yarn from Lion Brand and I love this this is what I had left of a 241 yard one skein and it made this scarf so the scarf is uh, well see it's wrapped around let me see I'm gonna make noise here sorry the scarf is wrapped around and, and it goes all the way down to right here so what do you think I love it it feels so good as a matter of fact, I have the other one hanging right there. Can you see that? She's hanging right there. That's the big bulky one. That's scratchy, itchy. This is lovely. I'm going to pull this up. Sorry. I hope I'm straight. Every time I start this, I always worry that I'm all like, hi, welcome back to Twisted Stitches. <laughs> anyway, uh. I love this and I will be wearing this when I ride because it's not hot. It feels nice actually. I really like it. Can I get away with using this for a mask in the stores? Just see, I'm covered. I covered my face. I can breathe a lot better. <laughs> no, but it will go like this and I will call myself the Baroness as I ride my motorcycle. <laughs> I gotta get back on my motorcycle. It's been just so hot here in Florida. Oh, I haven't even wanted to be outside. I go outside for like a minute and I'm like, oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I know everywhere it's been crazy hot. So this is my finished object. I told you guys I'd have it done this week. Uh, I've been working on the, I forgot to bring the pattern with me. It's out in the living room because that's where I'm working on it. While I sit watching, oh, what is that show? I was watching it last night. Well, listening to watching it. It was called The Alienist or something like that. It has, um, I don't know her name. Anyway, um, really, I got so engrossed in that show. And I'm glad I was working on this particular blanket because I don't really have to pay attention now that I know the pattern. I can just sit back and just glance down once in a while and make sure I'm feeling the right stitch where I'm putting it. So I got that much more done. I got, um, well, I didn't work on it exclusively this week. I only worked on it a little tiny bit because I wanted to finish this. And I have, of course, two things going on in the background that I'm working on. So in total, I had one, two, three, four, five. I had five things going on this week. So I had to devote so much time for this, so much time for that. And this last night, I devoted, I don't know, a couple hours of time. And then uh, earlier this week, I devoted only two rows. That was the sad part. But it is working up really lovely. This is the So Sweet Baby Afghan. Um, I'll insert a picture here where you guys remember I was talking about this. This is the one where I got that pamphlet and stuff like that. So that's going right now. And I am also doing, I don't know if I'm going to get it done in time. I hope I do, but I am also working on this Sis Love shawl. Whoops. And we're using the stinky yarn, which isn't so stinky anymore because she's doing okay. But I wish I could work on this monogamously, monogamously, bleh, okay, because I'm really, really loving this shawl. Every time I get done with some of my 
background stuff that I can't show, I want to pick this up. And this is where I'm at. I am, I have one more row to finish of part one. And then I'll be doing, it's, there's a repeat here. And you repeat it three times in the pattern. So, um, basically, hopefully by the time I'm on my third repeat, it'll be pretty big. You can see a little bit of the color changes, maybe just a tiny bit. It's, it's fading very, ever so slightly into the next color. See, these are the colors. This is called rose gold, so I'm really excited to see how it works up. In the cake, I'm not real fond of that goldish color right there, but it's starting to come out right here. I don't know if, you, if it's going to come up true or not. Let me try to bring it up. So it's starting to come up a little bit right there, and if it's... It's pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. So I'll know a little bit more by next week when I show it. I'll be able to give you a better update on this. So love it. Love it. And here's a little tip. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about, oh, you have to count, blah, blah, blah. You have, there's so much counting because there's so many stitches. And yes, that is true. There are a lot, a lot of stitches. One thing that might help you which makes it way easier for me is the first thing I do is I count how many stitches there are, like what is the beginning of the pattern and before you get to your repeats and where does it end and where does that repeat end and then you start, you know, that little last piece that it tells, you know, the mirroring of the mirroring of the, the start, right? So right in the middle, you'll have your pattern repeat, okay? So for example, these little windows here, right, were a repeat. Well, in the pattern, you had a window at the beginning, a window at the end, and your pattern repeat called for 11. So if I did the pattern repeat 11 times, I would have 13 windows. So when I count my row, if everything went, you know, stitch for stitch, and I go in and I count that I had 13 of these windows, or 13 of these fans, or whatever, then I know I did it right. I don't need to count all those stitches. Well, I shouldn't anyway. So anyway, that's just a little trick. That's what I do. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but that's how I do it. So that was it. That's what I have going on that I'm uh, able to show you. And I am working very diligently behind the scenes on a couple of things that will come to light in the near future. Um, I'm going to post the Happy Mail opening right after this. And that's all I got to talk about today, guys, believe it or not. Uh, if you are having a good time and you enjoy being here, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell to the all notification. I'd appreciate it. It helps me out greatly. And so what's everybody else up to? And are you going to follow along with weight loss journey? I mean, I'm just doing it because I want to be at least where I was on that one picture. I, I'm just ready to be, I want my clothes to fit like they were. <laughs> I have clothes in my closet that I can't wear or if I do wear them, it's so uncomfortable that I don't wanna wear them. So I'm pretty much ready to get out of the stretchy clothes and put the, put the jeans back on. How does that sound? <laughs> All right, guys, um, if you're gonna stay and watch the Happy Mail, thank you so much. And if not, I'll talk to you guys next week. Well, I'll be talking to you guys Tuesday. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and take care. So hi guys, it is me from the past. Now I'm putting this in on Friday's video, but I could not wait till Friday. <laughs> I got happy mail guys. Oh, I opened up the post office and there was a little package in there. And then there was a note that said, I had to go pick something up. And I thought, oh, this is like my knit grade or something like that. 
No, you want to see? You want to see? And there's no way I could have waited till Friday, guys. I just couldn't. I was out and about today, running around. I stopped to mail off the package for my Christmas in July winter. And I was like, yeah, let me go check the mail real quick. Oh, what? What? Oh, my God. So, I mean, like, seriously, I hope y'all can forgive me. I had to open it, but I wanted to make sure I filmed it. So, hope y'all can appreciate that. This is from Emma. Uh, not Emma. Sorry. Emmy Phillips. And where does she come from? Hold on a second. I'm not going to give away. Oh, I hope I didn't give away your. Oh, yeah. This is going to work. Okay. I forgot they were on my head. <laughs> Wait, let me get the Grammy, Grammy glasses. So this package is from Emmy Phillips. Emmy, how are you, honey? Thank you. You didn't have to get me anything. Of course, I love it. I'm not going to complain. Ah! Puff stickers. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember puff stickers? When I was in school, uh, these were real big. Everybody was like collecting these. They were like puff stickers and you had your puff sticker book and everything. Do you guys remember those? Oh my God. I remember those. Oh my God, cute little monkeys. They're so adorable. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm going. I love this and I don't want to like ruin it. See, I don't want to ruin it. I'll ruin it. Oh, I know what I can do. Doi. I will cut it like this so as to not ruin the little stickers. Because I will save those stickers. I'll put them in my scrapbook along with all my cards and postcards and stuff. I am starting a little like uh, just a little scrapbooky thing. So I have all my memories. And let me see. I may have to put my granny glasses back on. I see a card. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Emmy. Number the little. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? I had to pop in here. I'm a dummy. Um, so as I was putting all the pieces together, remember I had the happy mail that I was inserting that I had filmed on Wednesday. I realized as I was watching it, I did not show the card. How duh am I today? So I was just so excited about getting anything that anybody thought of me. So honestly, you, you got to forgive me, I hope. <laughs> So this was the card that Emmy had sent with the package. It says, remember, after the rain comes the rainbow. And on the inside it says, and after the tequila comes the chaser. <laughs> That's right. I love it. Thank you so much, honey. I appreciate this. I'll have it hanging up or put in my scrapbook. So thank you so much. Can I, can I say it like Emmy? <laughs> or can I just say Emmy? <laughs> I thought I, I was pretty sure I was pronouncing that right. I love this. Thank you. And Emmy lives in Minnesota. Minnesota, eh? Sorry, I'm not trying to make fun. It's just, I love it. Oh, like Stuart on, um, what was that show? I used to watch all the time. And he'd be like, no. And she'd be like, oh, Stuart. I can't believe you're just being so naughty to mommy. Oh, Stuart. Oh, <laughs> It just reminds me of that. And every time I hear somebody's from like, you know, Minnesota or Wisconsin, my ex was from Wisconsin, and he'd say rut beer, and he would get on the roof to fix the shingles and stuff like that. So let me see. Oh, yay. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yum. Stress relief. Honey lavender tea. Oh, yes. I love tea. I drink tea all the time. Chai, pumpkin spice. Oh, oh and I can smell it a little tiny bit. <sighs> I have this a lot. And Bigelow tea. Oh, I love just regular old black tea too. I drink that every single day. Like some kind of black tea. I have like British blend black tea and stuff. Thank you so much. I love these. They will get drinking and they will be enjoyed. Thank you so much. Oh, I needed this. <laughs> 
it says, I'll, I will kind of beep it out. So if you have little kids or something, they probably know what the heck this is anyway. You know, if they're above the age of eight, they probably know exactly what I'm showing anyway. So it says, calm the beep down. <laughs> An irrelevant, irreverent adult coloring book. <laughs> no. Something you do until... <laughs> I love this book. <laughs> it says, something you do till the Valium kicks in. <laughs> Ah, that is so me. Sorry, guys. That is so me. Me? Sarcastic? Never. <laughs> no, I'm never sarcastic. Absolutely never. Suck it up, buttercup! I think I say that all the time. I, I think some of my friends would know if I say that a lot. I think I do. Oh my god, this is perfect. This. Right there. I have got to have the time to really color this in and then it's going to be hung and framed and put right back there somewhere. <laughs> it's just, it's got to. I'm sorry. This is like, you'll do. I love it. <laughs> With a big loving letter. That's definitely, okay, can I, can I color that one and give it to Tom? <laughs> okay, this is too much fun. Oh my God. <laughs> I believe that children are our future and that terrifies me. <laughs> oh, dance like no one attractive is watching. <laughs> right. Oh, I love this, Emmy. I love this. This is Oh my god. I love this. <laughs> you have so made my day. You can't even imagine. Oh, I love this. I love I'm keeping that cover just because of I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are wonderful. I I don't want to spend I'm just crying. <laughs> you got to be sitting like a fly on the wall in my house sometimes. You have just got to be. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Emmy. I appreciate it. I love the card. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. I really, really, really appreciate it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my god. I'm trying not to, I gotta calm down and compose myself. <laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's so me. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, I've got to calm down. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So this here, like, seriously? Okay. Okay, I got to open this. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Now this came from Amazon, so seems it came from Amazon. I don't know. I hope it has some kind of card. There is some papers in here. I'm going to have to put these on. I'm not gonna put the sunglasses on again this time. We'll put the granny glasses on this time. I got some paper in here. Let's see, Amazon. And I cannot read what that says. Oh, here we go. A gift for you. Thought you'd enjoy this gift. Hopefully it'll be easier for you. Wind your yarn. Love your channel. CJ Christopher. Scrap a dap a do from CJ. CJ, thank you for thinking of me. You are awesome. What is this? No way. No way. No way. No way. to myself it's gonna be another month before i can oh my god cj oh my god thank you so much oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god all right i'm not gonna do anything because i don't want to break anything oh 
because I am that person. <laughs> okay, so I know these are to hold it in place through here. I know that, so I'm just gonna kind of go like this so I don't lose anything. Because I don't want to lose anything. How does this work? Does it lift up like an umbrella? I don't know. I will find out how it works. I know. I look like an idiot, right? I don't want to break anything. I don't want to... Do you just pull it? I think you just open it. I think you just open it. Oh, there it goes. So I was opening... My, oh, wow! That is so cool. It is just like an umbrella, isn't it? Oops. I'm like way out of shot. Sorry, guys. Look at that. It is just like an umbrella. So you just put that there... Oh, I see. That's how it works. And then you just put this little thing there. And then I would assume this little key goes in here. And then you can put however big or small. Yep, there you go. Oh my God, CJ, thank you so much. I needed this so much. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use it today. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you so very much. I appreciate this. Yes, this was so very needed and it is so appreciated. You are absolutely wonderful. You guys are just amazing. And I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I love it. I love everything. I, I don't want to totally pick that up too much because of the word. Here. There. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Thank you. Bye. Oh my God, guys. Talk about awesome happy mail. Thank you so much, Emmy. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You thinking of me. And CJ, I, I, words can't describe I, I can't even put into words how thankful I am to you I have used it and as a matter of fact ooh, oops this is one of the <laughs> I've been working on something <laughs> and this is uh, one of the Hanks that I took and I used the uh, the Swift and I used the Swift with my ball winder and it worked out so wonderfully. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys, thank you so much, CJ. Thank you so much, Emmy. You guys rock. Thank you. Bye.